If you're thinking about buying a home in 2024 or have been waiting to buy a house the last few years, in this video, I'm telling you why you shouldn't buy a house this coming year. Now everybody's situation is different and unique. If you have specific questions about your unique situation, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can call me, text me, or email me. You can also book a call with me directly down below. Let me know what questions you have, and I look forward to helping you this coming year. Now, let's get into the video. Now, in the last few weeks, interest rates have been going down, and uh, before, in the last few months, they were in the seven to eight percent range, but I was talking to one of my lending partners in the last uh, few days, and they have been able to quote some buyers in the 5% range. This is a huge decrease in interest rates and a huge amount that these buyers are saving per month. In addition, with uh, them, with these buyers being able to negotiate with the seller to, to have some of their closing costs and to be able to negotiate a, a, a rate buy down, some of these buyers have been able to get an interest rate as low as the mid 3% 3, 3 range. This is huge and this is going back to some of the same interest rates we had a few years ago. Um, being able to essentially be able to cut down your interest rate in half to what the current rates have been is a, is a good opportunity or a huge opportunity to be able to, to save a huge amount of money on your monthly payment. Um, and this is what some of these buyers are doing to take advantage of um, the current interest rates and the current incentives that sellers are offering. Now, with that being said, I think there's a small window, probably two to three months, um, where buyers are gonna be able to take advantage of these incentives, as well as the, these uh, interest rates that continue to drop, if they continue to do so. I, in my opinion, I think that if interest rates continue to drop and get back to you know to the four to five percent range, um, this is where we're gonna see you know a flood of buyers again into the real estate market and potentially you know have uh, home prices go back up again and see an increase in home values. Um, um, just because there's so many buyers that have been on the sidelines waiting for interest rates to drop um, the last you know two to three years be you know have the, the, the opportunity to be able to jump into the real estate market obviously there's a lot of first time you know home buyers out there as well that want to purchase a home but just haven't been able to do it because of the interest rates and in my personal opinion I think that if interest rates continue to drop we're gonna see, see a huge flood of buyers into the real estate market and we're gonna potentially see uh, you know, buyers that are going to be bidding over asking price, um, having to you know go in and, and make offers on their uh, on these homes, you know, with a non-refundable uh, earnest money. Um, you know, we're potentially going to see you know you know 10 to 15 offers on homes again. Um, we're also going to you know have these. Um, buyers who are going to want to waive their inspection and, and um, their appraisal in order to be able to get these homes, which is the same thing that we saw here a couple years ago um, during the 2020 and 2021 20, uh, years. Um, so I think this is something that has a potential to happen if interest rates do continue to, to, to go down. Um, that's why I say that there's a small amount of time, you know, two, two to three months in my opinion, um, where buyers are going to be able to take advantage of these benefits and incentives that, that these uh, um, sellers are offering as well as the, the new, new construction of home builders. Um, you know, I made a couple of videos uh, uh, in the last few weeks where some of these builders were offering, you know, 20, 25, even $30,000 to contribute to, to the buyer's closing cost. Um, I think we're slowly going to see this go away as uh, interest rates go down um, and, and you know buyers aren't going to have that, that ability to be able to negotiate those type of things and they're not going to have the ability to negotiate um, those closing costs into their offers. Who shouldn't buy a home in 2024? In my opinion, if you're planning on moving in the next you know, six months to, 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 to two years, um, then it may not be in your best interest to, to, to buy a home. Um, just because uh, uh, well, prices, home prices may go up, um, you still have to pay you know those closing costs when you sell your home. And if you're selling a short, short, short amount of time, um, it's not in your best interest to, to you know to buy a home now. Um, in addition to that, if you're planning, if you're somebody that you know um, doesn't want to have any you know responsibilities of maintenance, um, you know uh, is comfortable where they're at, and you're currently renting, and maybe you have a really good. Um, rent payment and you know and, and you know you don't know you know where your next step in life is and it may not be in your best interest to buy a house um, in addition to that if you, if you have you know a, a job where you could potentially be relocated or you're just not sure what you know what your job looks like um, in you know currently I know a lot of companies at the beginning of the year if they had a slow year they'll do layoffs so if this is something that you could potentially be impacted, impacted on, um, then buying a house may not be in your best interest. Um, 
but like I said, you know, at the end of the day, if you're just not sure where you know you're headed next in life, or you're not you know 100% sure of your current situation, um, then it may not be in your best interest uh, to buy a home here this coming year. Um, but if you know if you're wanting to you know buy a house, you've been waiting on the sidelines, then like I said, it's in your best interest to, to at least have a conversation to see what things look like for you specifically, and kind of make, have a game plan um, to get into the real estate market or jump into the real estate market. I know that a lot of people uh are wanting to um time the market you know perfectly um but it's it's, you know, it's not something that can easily be done um just because things can you know change in, in a matter of you know a week or two um and it does take you know three or four weeks to be able to, to buy a house um and just with, with how quickly things change it's not something that you're going to be able to, to time very you know uh, perfectly and be able to make things happen um, as you'd like to. There's always going to, you know, things that come up, things that get delayed. Um, well, so you're not going to be able to, you know, to finalize things overnight. Um, but if you have any questions about your personal situation, um, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Like I said, you can call me, text me, or email me. All of my information is down in the description. Um, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, check out this video if you haven't. Other than that, I'll see you on the next one.